Unique instruments. I am a fan of using unique instruments in music because it gives everything a unique sound and it looks like a recorder. There's probably a fancier name for it. But that added just that like, mm, just like the, 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 the salt bay essentially of the song. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Harmonic Chaos. I just noticed that my microphone was not in position before I started recording. But does that mean that I'm going to stop recording? No. I don't know what all that was, but today, I hope you're all having a blessed day. First off, you thought I was gonna skip past that? Of course not. Why would I do that? Definitely not my forgetfulness and the brain of a goldfish that I got going on here. Today I am checking out Alpen Glow by Nightwish and every time that I say it and I read it because I've been rehearsing it to kind of like see if I can pronounce it correctly how I think it should be pronounced. I always want to give it a Scottish accent. I want to say Alpen Glow. I don't know why. It just kind of wants to come out that way. But with all that being said, let's just get into it, shall we? This song. This song just makes you feel great. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't already feel much better than earlier today, or maybe even fantastic by now, this song will kick you right into it. How about that? I don't think that I've ever heard Floor speak before. Kind of funny, her voice, her, her speaking voice like is exactly what I thought it would be even though I never heard it before. Also, I love the way that the song sounds just so far. Also, it's really nice whenever, I'm saying also a ton, I guess, but it's really nice, I, I find, when the artist just like, is in the middle of like, like they end a song and they're like, hey, you know, this song is what, like, they just talk to the audience and not acting like they're not there. Cause there are some artists that just do their whole thing and just dip and they don't actually interact with the audience at all. And then I'm like, why did you do a live show if you're not gonna interact with the people that are paid to come see you? So it's nice that they do. Uh, yeah, I know I just paused it, but what is, what is that instrument? Is that at a, it almost looks like an acoustic guitar, but at the same time, it kind of looks like a mandolin. I don't really know what it is. Let me know in the comments down below if you do. That, just that intro, man, for the song, so good. It just has like an epic feel to it. Also, the mountains in the background make me want to like play Skyrim. Granted, I mean, I kind of just want to play Skyrim to begin with, but this kind of makes you want to do it even more. Her vocals are not loud enough. I don't know if she's just singing quietly or what, cause that bass line was so much louder than her vocals were. So I don't know if this is just a product of a recording or not, but it her vocals were not loud enough. Even like when she's saying the we were here, it still is it, her vocals still aren't loud enough. I think that's like the first fault that I found with a Nightwish song is that her vocals just aren't loud enough. Um, but again, that could just be the live version of things. But I love the, the backing orchestral notes. Those are nice. The violins. I wish they had a live violinist because that always adds like another layer to a performance. Just, I love the way that this song sounds. I wish her vocals were louder, so then it would just be like a perfect mesh of the epic music that's happening and her vocals. Together we see another fright Having jump, jump, birds, boots off the past Close your eyes and take a peek The truth 
whatever that treatment was on that guitar oh that was nice that was that was nice i am a fan That, that has to be an electric mandolin. It has to be. Unless I'm just absolutely losing it, it looks like an electric mandolin. But it but it's bigger than an electric, it, bigger than a mandolin should be. Well, maybe because it's an, like it's an electric, they have to make the body bigger to case more. I don't know. That, it, I really do want to say it's a mandolin though. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. What was that? I thought Floor was doing a vocal run, but uh, pause? That is so cool. Oh, that's cool. That was, that is cool. That is, yes. Unique instruments. I am a fan of using unique instruments in music because it gives everything a unique sound. And I, it looks like a recorder. There's probably a fancier name for it. But that added just that like, mm, just like the, 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 the salt bay essentially of the song. See here, her vocal, it's better because there isn't as much happening behind it, but it shouldn't have to be that way. Like, uh, that's just my biggest gripe and it just like, I hate that it's there. Okay, uh, yes. I like that change up right there. Cause it was just like, okay, like every, like the song had kind of been winding down a little bit. Well, I mean, there was like that epic run, but then it was like calm and then the middle of her singing, it just kicked back up again, which is like, okay, all right, it's cool. Like, I think even the background, like the backing vocals, I think their mics are louder because usually backing vocals, you don't hear them over top of the lead singer. You hear them underneath it. And when they did that, I heard it over, not under. But anyways, that was Alpenglow by Nightwish. My biggest gripe was her vocals. She sounded fantastic, I just wish it was louder. That's pretty much the end, the beginning and the end of my complaint with that. But if you guys agree or disagree, drop a comment down below. If you wanna see me check out any more of Nightwish's stuff or another band's stuff, drop a comment down below and I will be sure to get to it. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. God bless.